Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversation. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So what I have here are your January mid-month check-ins, yes? January 2019. So because I was working on the six month forecasts for 2019 and I was wanted to get those out before the 1st of January, I wasn't able to do full January readings for the collective. So I am bringing you guys a mid month check in. Uh, this is going to be a normal um, general freestyle reading, uh, just like always. I'm using the Golden Universal Tarot and I am using the Unicorn Oracle. Yeah. Um, and so this is just this general normal reading. We are going to be looking at what's going on currently around you since we already in the are already are in the month of January. We're going to be looking at what's currently going on around you and then what could be coming up down the line at the end of the month. So we're looking at for that. We're, we're, uh, we're looking at this from around the 15th to the 31st. Yeah. I want to want to wish a special happy birthday to all the Capricorns out there. Very happy birthday to you. We are smack dab in the middle of Capricorn season. I hope you guys are having a great birthday. I hope everybody had a great holiday. We are out of the holiday season now, so we might be going through that, you know, post-holiday funk, uh, the uh, seasonal depression maybe, but I hope everyone's doing well. Um, if you would like a personal reading, go ahead and email me. These are general readings, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. The energies are fluid. They could go either way. We could either be talking about you personally, or we could be talking about uh, someone that you're connecting with. Cross watchers, you know, it, take, what it, take it as it resonates. Also, everybody, just take it as it resonates. And again, if you would like a personal reading, go ahead and email me, and I can get that set up for you. Yeah, I believe that's it. Ooh, um, good news. I am back at Om Shanti Bookshop here in, in the East Village of New York City. It is on East 14th Street. That is between 3rd and 4th. No, I'm sorry. That's between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. There it is. Um, but I'm going to be there Fridays now from 11 to 5 p.m. So go ahead and uh, you can give them a call. The email address, I'm sorry, the website is in the description box below. So you can go there, get their phone number, give them a call if you would like to... Uh, uh, book a reading in advance that can happen yeah and actually you know that way you don't have to potentially wait if someone else got in before you yes okay I think that's it so without further ado we're gonna get straight to it yes Aha. hello there cancer welcome to your reading for mid-january 2019 thank you so much for tuning in let's get to it First, before I say anything else, if you can hear any music playing, that's my roommate. He's jamming up there. <laughs> so I apologize if it's distracting. I'm going to do my best to get through this and not be distracted myself because he's, he's playing this like rhythmic stuff. I'm sorry. Okay, wait. No. Sorry. He's playing rhythmic stuff and it's like exciting and I like it. But anyway, we're going we're gonna to get into the reading now. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Cancerians, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good for all involved for mid-January 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. So, Cancer, what I'm seeing for you right now, as I'm tuning into your energy, I'm seeing a light blue energy. Um, it's like a baby blue. And then I'm seeing a mother holding a newborn child. So either you just had a kid, and if that's the case, congratulations. Um, but also, it, it just feels just like a, a compassionate, a motherly energy. It doesn't have to be literal. Um, it really could just be symbolism for you being in a compassionate and loving energy. Now, this also could uh, could lead towards, or this could speak to um, being nurturing and compassionate towards your inner child. I feel like um, a lot of us are going through that right now, but specifically for you, Cancer, that's coming up, okay? But also, some of you also may have just had children or you're focusing on your children, you're focusing on spending time with your children, connecting with your children. Um, and this could be... You know, kids, maybe like nephews, nieces and nephews, if uh, a family member has had a newborn, um, just family, a family type situation. 
I just, and for some of you, this also could just mean that, you know, this is what you're focused on. This is what you're desiring. Um, you're, and I don't really feel like this is any sort of urgent thing. This is just a calm understanding of what that, of the fact that this could be what you want in life. Okay. All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm going to give you one more shuffle. Oh, I'm sorry. No, two more. So one. Okay, now one more shuffle. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for mid-January 2019. And then we're going to cut the deck here. Boop. All right, Cancer, let's see what we've got for you. Overall energy, we're starting you off with the Three of Cups. So there's definitely a celebration here. You could have a bridal shower. You could be having a baby shower. You could just be spending time with friends and family, um, feeling jovial. I feel like some of you may be really in the process of starting to come out of your shell. If not, because you know a lot of us Cancerians have been in a bit of a hermit mode for quite a few months now. Um, but if you're not coming out of that shell, then you're being guided. You're kind of being pushed or um, influenced, encouraged, there it is, encouraged to come out of your shell and spend some time with your friends, reconnect with people. I feel like some of you really have, have you have these, like, these acquaintances or these friendships or these group of people that you haven't seen for some time. And um, they're either kind of really desiring to see or hear from you, or you're starting to have a desire to see or speak with them, yeah? So if you're feeling that, please, by all means, go right ahead. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh boy. Well, the Three of Cups is can talk about uh, union also. It is a union card. Also a card of reconciliation. And underneath that, you've got the Two of Cups, all right? So uh, for some of you, you've reached a sense of internal balance um, uh, between masculine and feminine energy, some sort of union within that is influencing you to now come out of your shell. Okay. I, I feel like you've done a lot of healing, a lot of reconciliation within. And so now you are willing to, you know, emerge from, the, from the deep. Um, some of you may be in the, as you do this, uh, as you like, you know, you come out of your shell, you start to be social again. Um, you could meet someone that you have some sort of soulmate bond to. This really, I really feel like this could be someone new, not necessarily someone that you've you've dealt with. I feel like if, it, in terms of someone from the past, I feel like you guys have kind of closed that out pretty well. Um, and if you have any sort of social social circle that you would be reconnecting with, I don't really see you wanting to take anything romantically further with someone from the past. I mean, of course it could be, but for the most part, I'm feeling like there is a new energy coming in here for you guys. You have the world. I can see <laughs> the world. The world is talking about completion, all right? <clears throat> completion of the old cycle so this is of the past cycle so this is why i feel like if you do have a friend a friend connection or a friend circle that you know you could be you could have a potential connection with with someone um i, I don't i'm not sure you'd be want you'd be really willing to get back into that because you did a lot of work to complete a lot of cycles here okay and you've got justice five 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 on the counter boop justice is you could be you could be dealing with a Libran, um, but ultimately, you know, cycles have come to an end. They have been completed. Some of them might still be in a little bit of a process of completion, but for the most part, most most of the heavy lifting, the heavy work has been done, right? And so now you can move forward as the last few bits of this situation are worked out on behalf of the or or, or on your behalf by the universe. Um, but justice is here now some of you could be getting married um there could be a proposal coming into the works there could be a uh, completing of old cycles that would keep you from being in some sort of commitment i do see that in the world and justice but also some of you could be getting divorced okay this is a general reading so please take it as it resonates uh, but ultimately I do see that justice has been, has been served in your life. And I do really feel like many of you are starting to feel the pull towards emerging from your shell. 
all right? This may not actually really happen until say maybe the end of the month, but this is what you're feeling right now. I really feel like some of you are coming into a place of starting to break free from your hermit mode, okay? First set of surrounding energies. The first row is going to be what's currently going on for you in the month. The second row is going to be the energies of the end of the month for you. So the first set of surrounding energies for the current energy, you've got, wow, we're <laughs> seven of wands. Okay, um, but this, these are boundaries, all right? This might be talking about this hermit, this hermit stage that you've been in, um, but I do, under, I do feel like you, in this hermit mode that you have been in, you have been identifying what better boundaries or healthier boundaries would be for you, okay? And so, especially as some of you work on coming out of this hermit mode or this shell, um, your, your focus right now are what are the boundaries I need to put in place to keep myself good, to keep myself in this new energetic resonance that I have acquired, okay? Seven of Wands is coupled with the Ten of Wands, yeah, you're guarding yourself against unnecessary burdens here. Uh, many of you have worked very, very hard over the last few months to release a lot of burdens and you're not about to put yourself back into a position or at least it's not advisable or it's not advised to put yourself back into a position to take on a bunch of responsibilities or a bunch of burdens now that you've worked so hard to release them. Okay, so that really could be why you are putting up some serious boundaries. And I'm not saying you're being mean or malicious to anybody. It's just like you're just, again, you're, you're putting forward your boundaries, okay? Second set of surrounding energies. You, wow, the Ten of Swords. It's so funny, you guys. It's so funny because I just did a reading for myself last night. And um, I posted about it on Instagram today. I did just start my Instagram channel, on Divine, underscore Con Divine Underscore Conversations. Um, go ahead and follow me there. But um, my first, my very first post on this new Instagram page is about this reading that I did for myself last night. And in it, it was the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. And the focus of that post was 1010 in that a lot of us are seeing this number 1010 and it is leading, it is uh, speaking to completions and endings. And it's so perfect that it, re that it represented itself as the 10 of wands and the 10 of swords because of the burdens that we've been carrying because of the, the really rough, painful situations that are coming to a completion that we are and, and the burdens surrounding those situations that are the that we are releasing so here you have it 10 10 y'all 10 of wands 10 of swords okay and in relation and, and coupled with that you have the seven of wands which is putting up boundaries in place from this so what this is saying to you here oh and you have like, there's a lot of completion for you already cancer because you also have the world which is a card of major spiritual soul level completion okay but with the ten of swords here the worst is behind you there still might be some residual pain like i said you may not be completely out of this shell until like towards the end of the month um but you're wrapping it up Okay, you're bringing all of this to a close. You're bringing all this to an end. The worst is absolutely behind you. You may still have some wounds that need to heal up a little bit, but for the most part, uh, I really feel like many of you have learned a really serious lesson, um, but you've taken it to heart this time. You really used your hermit mode to not just wallow in your own pity, but to heal and to change the cycles, to go within and change the beliefs and complete the cycles, okay? And that's beautiful. Ten of Swords is coupled with, holy shit, you guys. So um, I don't know if I mentioned this, and I really feel like I should have mentioned it now, but that post, Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, it was also with the Fool. And I was saying that, you know, the, the completion has happened, and um, you're embarking on a brand new journey, stronger than you were before. Look at what just came out. The Fool. This is literally that reading that I did for myself last night, okay? That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy, you guys. Holy shit. So honestly, you are completing the cycles and you're starting anew, but you're starting from a place of 
knowledge and understanding about what you learned in the past. Like you're not letting your past define you, but you're also not forgetting the lessons that you learned. You're using it as fuel to propel you forward in this new cycle. That is so crazy. Um, and then also, look here, you have a progression. You have the progression from the world, which is the last of the minor, arc I'm sorry, excuse me, the major arcana, the last of the major arcana, uh, 21, to zero, the fool, which is the first of the major arcana. When one cycle is completed, the next cycle starts. And it's continuous. So you're definitely progressing here, all right? You're in the process of aligning your boundaries and closing out all of this stuff, releasing the burdens, pulling the knives, uh, swords out of your back, and starting a anew, okay? That's beautiful. The challenge right now for you, Cancer, you have the nine of swords. So there's still a little bit of anxiety. And I feel like this anxiety is coming through in the form of fear of the future. And that's actually pretty detrimental to you at this point, because at that point, you're only going to be, it's only going to become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So the more you fear the old stuff coming back, the more you focus on not manifesting the old, the more potential towards actually manifesting that. So instead of focusing on the past and what happened in the past and saying and being so focused on not manifesting that, instead take the lessons from the past and allow yourself to dream of something new, okay? Nine of Swords is coupled with the Queen of Wands. Being sure of yourself, being confident. Um, law of attraction, okay? The more you focus on that which you don't want, the more you, the, the greater the potential of manifesting that, of attracting that to yourself. The Queen of Wands to me really does, is, a, is like a secondary um, uh, indicator towards the law of attraction. The first would be the magician. This is in my own opinion. So when I see the Queen of Wands, I often think about um, someone who is extremely magnetic and knows exactly what she wants and is not afraid to go for it. And that's what you need to do here. Don't be afraid to go after what it is you truly desire. Don't let your fears destroy your manifestations before they already have a chance to, to even get off the ground, okay? Closing message and or potential outcome for, the, uh, for your current energies of January 2019. You've, wow, we were just talking about this, the magician. All right. Wow, that's cool. Um, so you're you're in. Uh, wow, you're really progressing. You are really, really progressing here, Cancer. You're going from the world to the fool to the magician. Twenty one back to the beginning at zero to one. The magician. Definitely manifestation magnetic energies. This is using the law of attraction or the elements. It could be witchcraft using you know the earth elements to. Uh, uh, to manifest what it is you desire, but the magician is someone who knows how to use all of the tools at his disposal to manifest, okay? That's excellent. The magician is coupled with the knight of wands. So to me, this really speaks to spiritual truth and integrity. Um, it also speaks to a light worker situation. I really do feel like a lot of you have become uh, in greater touch with what it is you truly desire out of life, what it is you're trying to manifest. And so um, you're moving forward with it with gusto. And may, some of you may even be uh, moving into some sort of light working aspect too, because I do see the Knight of Wands as a light working energy, okay? A spiritual warrior type energy. So getting into you, the second half of your month here, I'm sorry, well, the end of your month, we'll say. Let's see what we got for you. Current energies for the, uh, for current surrounding energies, or excuse me, surrounding energies for the end of your month. You have the Six of Wands, Victory Cancer. Um, victorious. Some of you may really meet somebody in some sort of social setting that kind of sparks fly and you have some sort of victory. I really feel like some of you could really be getting what it is you truly have been desiring starting the end of January. Um, and I, call, I, I mean, I say that and I cringe a little bit because I don't want to generate any sort of expectation, but you would be attracting this or, re or, or find, running into this in your life because you have released all expectation and you're just out to have fun. 
you know, spend some time with your friends. Maybe get to new get maybe get to know new people, you know. You've been through too much over this last year to really get into anything too heavy too quick. So I don't really see you going in that route, but at the same time, there is a victory here that's about to come through for you in the beginning. And then this is starting off, you know, the end of your month energies. Six of Wands is coupled with Three of Swords. But this is not what you think, you guys. This is overcoming heartbreak. So that really could be your victory in the end of the month. Finally being able to go out with your friends and have a good time in face of whatever heartbreak you have experienced in the past. This heartbreak is most likely what threw you into that hermit mode. And I really do see you surmounting that. Okay, so even if you don't meet someone, you don't have some sort of soulmate that comes into your life that you feel victorious in meeting or victorious in the connection, um, you do have a balance or a union within coming into play at the very least, and that is helping you surmount or get over these this Three of Swords energy, this heartbreak. And that truly could be just what you've been desiring, to not feel heartbroken anymore. And I do see that happening for you. Okay, second set of surrounding energies for the end of the month, you have Page of Swords. Someone could be watching you. Someone could be watching you. Someone actually could be trying to learn about you, trying to get to know you a little better. I am feeling, for some of you, I'm feeling some sort of soul connection, soulmate bond here. I do feel like some of you are going to meet someone and you're going to intrigue them or they're going to intrigue you and you, either of you, this really could be, this go, it really could go either way, but someone could be watching the other. And I feel like you two would have some sort of common experience with heartbreak from the past. And it may even be that this person hears about or you hear about their heartbreak, but especially if it, if, if it was a recent heartbreak and you're seeing or they're seeing, you're seeing how they've surmounted it and come out, out on top and strong and confident in such a short amount of time relatively, or they're seeing this about you and they want to get to know more about it. It's like, well, how did you do that? Like, wow, like you're such, I really feel, I'm hearing Phoenix from the ashes risen. I, I'm feeling like, Whoever is intrigued by you or whoever you are intrigued by is like glowing in some way, okay? Page of Swords is coupled with the Eight of Wands. <laughs> yup, the Eight of Wands. Hold up, who that is? Let me get me a piece of that. I want to see what, what you about, honey. Wait, who won't you come over here? Let me talk to you for a minute. You know, that kind of energy. Um, it, and yeah, that kind of sounded a little like pimpish, kind of slimy, but... <laughs> But that's not really what it is. It's just kind of like intrigue. It's smitten. It's like, oh my God, you're like amazing. Or you just, I feel so, I want to talk to you. I want to get to know, I want to get to know about, about you. I want to communicate with you. Lots of communication here. And you two really could be talking about your past in love and relationships and really connecting on that level, okay? Now your challenge for the end of the month, Seven of Cups. Your challenge is to see things clearly. And this is why I wouldn't recommend necessarily getting into, jumping into a new situation all that quickly. Now, some of you, some of you could have some options. And it's not even that you're seeking options. It's just that there are a lot of people that really could be taking notice of you and may want to get to know you, want a little bit of your time. So choose wisely. Use your intuition there, Cancer, because you are very intuitive. Cancerians do really have a knack for understanding people on an emotional level. Um, Cancerians are usually quite empathically, uh, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Empathically inclined. So use that to your advantage. You know, feel people out. But there really could be a lot of options around you. So I feel like also, I feel like if you do connect with someone new, you might, you might fall into some sort of tailspin. Be careful with that. 
All right. Um, don't let don't let your mind run away with you too quickly. Allow the situation to develop a little bit. Allow yourselves to get to know each other a little bit before you, you know, really start thinking about investing too much. Because I feel like that could have been the problem in the beginning or in the past, you know, with other relationships. So now that you've had a chance to really learn that lesson, I feel like it may come back um, to test you a little bit more. Just keep that in mind. It doesn't mean that this person that you could be connecting with is just another test. But there could be like somewhat of a test therein to see how much you really learned, okay? Seven of Cups is coupled with the Two of Swords. Right. You're needing to see things clearly. Don't refuse to see the red flags. If you see a red flag, notice it. Take notice of it. If you see something, say something. For those of us that are here in New York City. <laughs> And I'm not saying I'm not necessarily saying call them out on it, but I'm also what I am saying is if you see something and it and it sparks your intuition, uh, you see a red flag, notice it and take and communicate with yourself about it. Be like, okay, see, look, this is exactly what we had we were trying to avoid in the past, or this is exactly what we're talking about here. We can't we can't allow this in. Blah blah blah. We have to take note of this. We have to keep this in mind. That that kind of thing, you know. Maintain. Your eyes wide open. Archangel Michael's going by. Okay. Your closing energies here, or at least the potential outcome for the end of the month, you have the hanged man. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, interesting. Some of you... Well, I was going to say some of you may come out of hermit mode just to go right back into it. But actually, that's for some. That may be potential. That may be ha that may be what happen happens. But for others of you, what I'm getting with this is you've reached a certain level of enlightenment that's going to probably make you feel a little stuck or stagnant uh, around certain people. Maybe these are people from your past. Maybe as you're going out and meeting people, you're understanding that, you know, you're vibrating on a much higher level. And so that could be... You could feel stagnant in that case. Or you could in, uh, uh, come up upon a situation that may put you into a bit of a precarious position. But ultimately, there's some sort of enlightenment that's being reached here towards the end of the month. Now, you may this may actually be you coming, because I'm not reading, I don't, none of the cards are reversed. I'm not reading reversals. So this could actually be you physically coming out of that hermit mode. Okay, uh, the, 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 the hanged man is coupled with ooh, ooh, the king of cups. Emotional maturity. I really feel like for some of you, once you really do come out of that hermit mode, um, there's, some, there's gonna be someone coming through here that really could want to sweep you off your feet. Now this also could be you, Cancer, and what I'm getting with this, because it could be a Cancerian, it could also be a, a Pisces or a Scorpio. Um, officially, it is Scorpio energy because it's fixed, okay? And masculine energies are fixed energies, and Scorpio is the fixed sign of the water sector. But um, what I'm really getting here is when you come out of this hermit mode, you really could be way more emotionally mature than you than you were in the past or even than you really thought you could end up being, okay? It might surprise you. It really might surprise you. But I'm seeing um, this hermit mode being a way of really gaining some emotional maturity here, all right? So let's get into the oracle section now. Some oracle guidance for your mid-January reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, Cancer. Let's see what you got for you. Best message, please, Spirit. There it goes. Look at that. Miracles. Did you see how that flipped out like that? That was pretty fantastic. Underneath the deck, you have gr uh, nature. Ground yourself. Find a sanctuary in nature. Connect with the elementals. Okay, especially if you've been in a really deep hermitage stage, you might want to take some time. And it's, I know it's winter here in the Northeast or well, in uh, North America. It's pretty damn cold in the Northeast where I am. Um, it's even colder probably in the Midwest and all that. But 
you know, just spend some time outside, even just like bundle yourself up and sit outside for maybe 10 minutes, you know, and just breathe in the earthly air. That'll help. That'll actually help you ground and acclimate to uh, it'll actually it'll help you really integrate this new sense of balance and self and emotional maturity that you've achieved in your hermit mode. OK, but then your official message here, you're also your alternate message is miracles. Have faith that your miracle is on its way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender the how. All right. And so this is really an energy of um, letting go of the expectation. And so when I said earlier in the reading about how you some of you may be meeting a soulmate by the end of the uh, end of the month or <clears throat> meeting, connecting with someone that may generate some sort of soulmate feelings within you, don't place any expectation on it. Because just because the, the message is coming through for the mid-January reading doesn't necessarily mean that it has to happen in mid-January. You could reach an energetic level by, mid by, by the end of January or sometime in January that then allows you to attract this individual, but, it doesn't, but, but placing expectations on it is only going to help block you from achieving that. So surrender the how, okay? There it is, Cancer. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, I hope you guys have a great January. Uh, if you would like a personal reading, go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below. I'll get you all set up. But other than that, much love to you all. And I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of February. Yeah, take care. Mwah! Bye.